Hello, bees bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> this this is not what's uh, in the video, but I happen to have this. This was, this was a gift, and I was like, what better way to start a very cool Olight video with some very cool gadgets than my little Olight uh, phone holder dealio. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck, that was fun. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am having a great day, and I'm gonna run through some brand new things from Olight. They're having their 17th anniversary sale, and this is the first thing that I got, and you won't believe some of the things. There's one thing about this that is so cool. I'm just gonna get right in. <laughs> By the way, I do have a discount code that's always available on Olight at any given time, but a lot of these things that I'm gonna show you right now are on sale. So, what is this? This is is the new O-Tackle D2 pocket tool. And the D2 doesn't stand for the steel that it's made out of. This is the, called the D2 because it's called the D2. This is a black aluminum frame. You could also get one of these in titanium. This one here weighs two ounces and you're like, what the heck is it? It's a pocket tool. Now check it out. It has a lock and an unlock feature back here. I'm gonna unlock it and check it. If you, if you like to fidget and you always like to have, <laughs> This is just the coolest thing ever. I gotta keep from digressing. It has four double-ended hex head bits. You have a T8 and a T6, a couple different sizes, like three different sizes of Phillips head. Let me get you on the inside right here. And if you wanna pull one out, you just push on one end and you can pull it out. And look at this, this, <laughs> while you're pulling it out, look at this. This has four different stops. So if you like to fidget, you could use this as a fidget, I think that is just a sweet added addition. If you're like me and you always have something you're fidgeting with, I mean, usually knives are what I'm fidgeting with. I like to flip my knives and flick my knives, but in this particular video, we're gonna run through just some really cool things like this. So if you need to work on your knife, and maybe tighten up one of, your, uh, one of your screws on your knife. If you look here, it's magnetic, holds it in pretty good, good retention, and this not only has inline, but you can come over here and put it on the side if you wanna get a little extra torque, which I think is really cool having an offset grip, especially on those ones where you have a pivot that's spinning and you need to hold it solid on one side. So I really do like that that's an option, but this is a very cool gadget. And it's, uh, it's about 3.78 inches long, 96 millimeters. The hex bit and the hex drivers on this bad boy are four millimeters, and if you get the titanium version, it comes in a really nice display case, a cool storage case. But I think this right here, uh, these run like 28 bucks. I think it is a fantastic deal. You can never have enough bit sets. And I like the fact that it closes or it locks. You can, you can't fidget with it <laughs> after you've locked it. But here's a quick look before I go any further. There's a quick look at that carbon fibre. Everybody likes a little carbon fiber. Isn't that sweet? And look, slide as if you wouldn't figure it out. But I guess you might not if uh, you didn't know which way it goes, but there's the new O-Tackle D2. Now let me show you something else. Now this isn't one I was gonna show you, but I'm trying, I did. I have so many things. I was on the site and I love O-Light and O-Knife and O-Tackle and all that stuff. If you like the Roboto 3 or if you've never got the Roboto 3, um, I've done a few reviews on it. It's a great medium sized knife for small and medium sized hands. This is not the version I'm talking about, but I noticed that they have a new one that drops. Uh, if you're seeing this video, uh, you're gonna be able to use my link and go straight to it. If you want to support the channel, use my link. It doesn't cost you anything. Plus, I have a discount code. And I thought I, Olight was doing away with their bundles, but I noticed a couple bundles. I think one of the bundles might have been with this new i17. I'll show you that in a second. But anyway, this video is not about the Roboto 3, but I do want to tell you, I saw they have a new version, and it's silver. I don't know if it's aluminum. and It looks like it's an aluminum handled, but I noticed that right before I went to make this video right now at this very moment, and I was like, oh, anybody that didn't get in on it and didn't get one of the last versions, and maybe they wanted one or they collect them, just so you know, there's a new version or a new configuration of the Roboto 3 and it has a nice silver handle. And I have another new tool from Olight that I'm going to show you here in just a second. First, I'm going to show you a quick new version of, you know what this is, baby? This is the Arkfeld and this is Black Lava. Would you look at it? Just look at it and check it out. It's a long, you can see what they did with this one right here. With the D2, they made it the same kind of flat design so it's it fits in the pocket well and it doesn't take up a lot of real estate. But if you're familiar with the Arkfeld or if you're not, this one in particular is the UV. This bad boy is a thousand max lumens and the, it has an LED. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I'm going to laugh when I say this, but the UV light is 580 milliwatts per square centimeter optical power. I have no idea what that means, but I can tell you this, that the blue light on this thing is the brightest I have come across. It is so crazy. Matter of fact, I have another one that might be a little bit brighter. <laughs> I'll show you that one here in just a second, but it has the regular light. It has all of the modes that you're used to, and you can just go right through them. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. And you can double tap for low, double tap to go back on high. These are very easy to use, very intuitive, and it does have the battery indicator on it. You know I love these, and it has the two directional pocket clip. And I gotta remember, there's a lot of people that are brand new to the knife world, to the everyday carry world, and you've never seen an Arcfeld or an Olight before. This is how you charge them. You just get it close to the charger, and it, well, <laughs> You go like this and it'll automatically click. I'm stretching the cord as far as I can get it. There we go. Just like that and it'll pop on. Not to mention, if you're working on your car or working on anything else, look, my uh, this is uh, very magnetic. You can just stick this to the side of something or upside down or whatever. I really love the Arcfels. Now, this is this is the Arcfeld. This is the new version, the new colorway of the Arcfeld Pro. This one here is 1300 lumens. Everything's a little bit beefier. Um, it has a little more girth, a little girthier, a little bit longer, and it has like a 42, 43% longer run time on the Pro. You're gonna get a little more weight, obviously, with it. There, There's a little quick size comparison. <laughs> Let's compare our Arcfelds. It appears your Arcfeld is bigger than mine, um, but not not digressing. Very nice knurling on the side. They feel so good. This one here in particular, well, you know what? <clears throat> Here's the specs real quick of the regular Arcfeld of the one I just showed you, the black lava version. There's your specs. You can go from a one lumen, 15, 60, 300, and a thousand lumens. And there is, there, there's your numbers for your UV light. Now, if you're gonna come over here to the Arcfeld Pro, you can see all of those numbers get bumped up. Just a little bit, just a wee bit. 1300 is really good and it ramps down, 420 ramps down. You know, you can screenshot that and look at that later, you know, when you're having your tea and crumpets. But the Arcfeld, it comes in neutral or cool white, whereas this one here comes in cool white. And it, they're both uh, very intuitive. This, all of the Olights have the same design as far as how you turn them on, how you turn them off. Now this one, you can control whether two taps does the strobe or two taps does turbo. You can switch it back and forth however you want it. I switched mine so double tap went to turbo. It comes out of the box with double tap being uh, being a strobe. So if you're like, I don't want it to do that. All you gotta do to change it is while it's off, you just go like this until it's on and then make sure it's locked and then you tap it about 10 or 12 times and then hold it down. And then the light will double blink. Just hold it down, it'll turn on. Now if I double tap it, it will go to strobe. You see there, oh my gosh, that is so bright. So there's, anyway, there's there's so many different things you can do with them. Um, I love these, I love these flashlights. These are freaking cool. If you haven't if you haven't had one or seen any of my videos on them, hey, welcome to Bees Blades and welcome to Olight. And that just hit the floor. <laughs> All right, let's get something else cool. Ooh, I almost forgot. That's when I was gonna tell you. This is the new i17, which is a very cool little flashlight. It has two modes, one, and two, it's that simple. You turn it on and turn it off. You turn it one turn and then here's your specs. It's not a whole lot to it. There you go. It goes from five lumens to 180 lumens just by turning it on. And I mean, I have these on every keychain. I have them on my backpack. I have these, I have the IT3s. I mean, I'm, I'm nuts about them, but you can get this with this for like 11 bucks. These are normally 18 or 19 bucks. Um, you can get these by itself and it's worth every penny for 18 something. And all this stuff is on sale right now that I've been showing you. This is something else I was really excited about. I was very excited. This is the new multifunctional scissors, but wait till you see all this cool stuff. Look at this. Who doesn't like everyday carry gear? I love every kind of everyday gadget and gear. And I mean, wow. I mean, <laughs> I mean just look at it. All right. <laughs> you know what I said? I'm going to wing it. I'm just going to have fun with this video. Check these out. So this is, this is aluminum and I don't think there's a titanium version of it. This weighs three ounces. This is aluminum right here. It has the classic spiral design on the side. Give you a little texture vision, just looking at it. And let me show you what it has on. It, it has nine different things. This side, you know, I would swear by the feel of it, it almost feels like a diamond stone. It probably isn't, but it feels like you could definitely maybe hone up an edge on a knife on this side. And then this side has the classic, uh, we call that file. And then on the edges, it's also a file. So there's that. On this side, you have a small 
Phillips head screwdriver. On this side, you have a flathead. So you have a flathead, a Phillips head, and a, uh, what do you call that thing? <laughs> that thing, <laughs> did I just snort? And then over here, you have a really cool little sheep's footy blade. And the blade uh, is like 20 CR or 30 CR 13 or something. I don't know, you can, you can check out the specs. I'm not gonna belabor with specs, but it has a nice little usable blade and it fits in the hand very well. You know, I have a large width hand, but it's very usable for a small pocket tool. And then on this side, you have a, a dual dude. Um, right here, if you can see at the edge of this, this is sharpened and you can easily open cans. So if you have canned goods or you're camping or wherever and you want to open a can, this will open it about as fast as an electric sharpener or sharpener opener. And then this right here is a typical bottle opener. And this is what these look like. Check these out. They're spring loaded. I love when multipliers and multi tools are spring loaded. I'm a sucker for it. I have the Leatherman Wave. It's not spring loaded. This is and they're very nice, very, very nice. And you can feel the edge coming together. Uh, let me get a piece of paper. I mean, I don't know that I need to do a demonstration on scissors, but or how well, <laughs> or how well scissors work. But um, you know, uh, I mean, they're scissors. They they do scissoring. <laughs> <laughs> they do scissoring very well. But this is the new O-Tackle P1S EDC tool. And here's the cool thing. These things are like 1750 or 1740. They always make it a weird number, you know, so it sounds like less. It's 70, 1740 something, but it, I think it's very cool. This will be going in one of my pouches. All of my pouches have small EDC tools like this. And you know what? This is going in my truck. Um, I had a pivot get, go loose the other day and I didn't have a... I couldn't believe it. I didn't have a T8 to tighten it. You can never have enough T6s or T8s or bit drivers. And this right here, I love the fact that it doubles as a fidget. That is just, that's the coolest thing ever. Now, everything I just showed you is all brand new. This isn't brand new, but it is the upgraded edition. I did not have this to my collection. Now I do. This is the Javelot Mini. And it comes with this nice uh, belt case. Check this out. Look at this bad boy. Have you ever seen this? Now, my one of my latest flashlights I got, and that's why I wanted this one, is here's the Javelot, and then here's the Javelot Mini. So if you were wondering, like, you know, I don't know which one of those I want here. I was so excited. I thought I'd left this one at work, and I found it. It was upstairs on the kitchen table. Here's the differences. Well, I'm not going to tell you them all. I'll show you a couple things. This one here has the side switch, and it has the tail cap switch. The Javelot Mini is tail cap switch only, and it's super easy to use. There's two modes. You can half press it. Let me back out just a little bit. You can just give it a light press, and that's that's low, if you will. And then you can press it all the way down for high. And it is, this the spot on this, the only thing I'm let down about this, and I'll let you look at a little bit of texture vision while I'm telling you. The only thing I was let down about is last night, I wanted to make a video outside so I could show you the tremendous spot on this thing, and it didn't have a full charge. <laughs> I was like, I can't do it. And I had to go to bed because, you know, well, I do have a day job. But I, I do have a little clip that I'll show you of the spot. It is incredibly uh, crisp. It has a very crispy spot. Here's a couple, here's a quick size comparison, or not size, but here's the boxes. This one is 1,000 max, and this one is 1,350 max. And if you want to take a screenshot to compare the stats right next to each other, you can take a screenshot and see the run times, the lumens, the throw, candela, length, bezel, the bezel, hello bezel. But you can check those out if you want to. Here's um, just showing you the difference. It's not, look at this, look how crisp and bright and white that is. Now, one thing that I can say that uh, here not doing this outside, which isn't gonna do it justice, of course, is that the uh, ring or the light on this one, it, it's a little bit rounder, it's a little bit bigger. So your your beam, your throw is tighter with the Javelot, a little bit tighter than it is with the Javelot Mini. This one is tight, it's just not as small. I kind of like the beam off of this one just a tad more. I do like a tight throw, but um, you know, I mean, I, I can't complain. I like them both a lot. And the size, the weight difference isn't, you know, it isn't huge, but you're gonna go with different, you're gonna go with different batteries, of course. And both of these have a small amount of, uh, what do you call it, flood. So it's not just the spot that you're seeing. You do get a little bit of light on the outside. So when you're walking, you can make sure you don't, <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't step in dog poop. And th these both are also the same charging system. You can use the same charger to charge these bad boys up. Yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited about this one. I like the size of it. You know the size of my hand, large width hand. There's that one. And then here's the Javelot. The Javelot is a little, I don't know, it feels a little bit thinner and it is just a tad. I don't know if you, yeah, you can tell definitely. Um, the Javelot Mini is a little girthier. <laughs> it's shorter, but it's girthier. Yeah, I'll just leave that to your imagination. And there, there's the, the different cases that it comes in, not cases. It's easy in, in and out, on and off of your belt. You don't have to slide your belt through it. You can just put it right on and take it right off. So that, anyway, that's really exciting. I was really glad I got to show this and I hope to do full reviews uh, one of these days coming soon, maybe not soon. Every time I think it's going to be soon, it doesn't end up because, well, you know, uh, life is very busy for Bees Blades. And if you have it, come and check us out. Bees Blades live at the Hive. All right. Every Friday night, come and check out the live stream. We give away stuff just like this. We've given away, I don't know how many Arc Felds. We give away knives. I'm a big knife nut. My channel is mostly knives, but you know what? I really do love flashlights. And when I retire here sometime in the coming future, I'm going to go full bore. <laughs> I've got to be a knife nut and a flashlight nut. Right now, I wish I had the time to do full reviews on the flashlights, but I can definitely give you my opinions on what I've done with them and the use of them and the fact that they're IPX8 and they're waterproof and all that good fun stuff. But if you want to see more about these and you like knives, like this one, this one, uh, the, the Roboto 3 is a really cool knife. I would like to have even a larger version of it. I think it's really good for small to medium hands, but you know, I, O Knife makes some really good knives and something they've started doing is they've started omitting the, the O Knife symbol on the blades, which I really am glad about. It makes makes the blade looks a, look a lot cleaner. But before I digress, uh, if you wanna hear me talk more about how much I love knives and gear and EDC gear and widgets and gadgets and fidgets and flashlights, come to the live stream every Friday night 8.15 to around midnight, we have a lot of fun. Come and check it out. You don't have to be a pro. That's where we all learn from each other. So let me know what you think about these new items. What do you think about the Javelot or the ja Javelot or the Javelot Mini? I want to know. Inquiring minds like me want to know. But until I see you again, go watch this video. You'll really enjoy that. And I'll see you in the chats and the lives and the hive streams. So remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.